Hello and welcome to the Mac Championship Game Betting Picks video for Lamps.com. I'm your host, Matthew Amato, and I'm here with a special guest, a new full-time writer to Lamps.com, Anthony Elio. He is going to be helping me out figuring out this Mac conference, which Jason and I did okay on, but uh, we did struggle a little bit towards the end here in predicting these games. And we got Kent State against Northern Illinois. I do think these are indeed the two best teams in the Mac conference, not just because of record, but actually watching them play. Kent State currently has three and a half points as the favorite over under at 74 and a half, like a typical Mac action game should have. Um, Anthony, who are you liking for this one? So not to bury the lead here, I definitely like Northern Illinois quite a bit. Um, it all goes back to that big win, the comeback win over Ball State a few weeks ago. Not just because that was very good financially for me. That was uh, It kind of went to show the style they play. They really play it close to the chest. They're 7-4-1 and one ATS right now. Uh, one of the better ATS records in the MAC. Uh, I, I think they're going to keep it close no matter what. I like the three and a half. I love four, which I've seen, seen at some spots. So if you can get that, definitely go with that. Yeah. I mean, Northern Illinois has consistently just played to their competition, I think, throughout the season. There, there's been a couple games where they, they did show up and they just dominate. But most of the time, they just go tit for tat. And the game ends up being, you know, it's crazy seeing an 85 point, you know, total. And then the game's a one point difference. And that's just consistently how Northern Illinois has played these games. Um, what do you think is going to be the determining factor? <laughs> I doubt you're going to say defense, but it's definitely not defense. The determining factor is whoever has the ball last. Uh, and that has actually been for Rocky Lombardi, uh, Northern Illinois quarterback. It's kind of been his forte because he's had a few good fourth quarter comebacks this year. And I think no matter what, like th this seems this has all the feel of a three point game either way. Uh, it's going to come back, come down to who has the ball last. Yeah, no, I can see that. So I have before we get into the over under, how are you feeling about Northern Illinois at plus seven and a half at minus 165? Yes, those odds aren't fantastic. It's a big deviation from the three and a half spread, but I just cannot see Kent State winning this game by more than a touchdown. I feel like you're getting actually good value with this minus 165 at plus seven and a half. I mean, yeah, yeah I ahead. agree with I agree with that for sure. Um, minus 165 isn't the worst number you could get with that. Um, frankly, I would put a little sprinkle on that, but I would wait until some in-game action. Yeah, there's a good chance that Kent State just gets into a very quick start. And you can grab Northern Illinois by seven, seven and a half, maybe even six and a half if you get a good number on that. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think that's actually really fair. Um, I do expect Kent State to come out to the early lead. I actually think Kent State has probably a good chance of winning it. I just don't know if they're winning this by much. Um, even if they're, even if Northern Illinois goes down in the second half, obviously the concern is Kent State just doesn't give them the ball. But like you said, their specialty has been just dominance in the second half, driving the football down, scoring at will. Um, and they'll find a way to make this game close and cover that. So that's obviously it, it's weird to recommend something at minus 165. Like people are like, well, no, duh, it's at minus 165. But I do think it's a value. Um, and I honestly think, like you said, maybe if you live bet early in the game, Kent State starts out with a TD or you get it closer to game time, maybe you can even get better value on a, a spread this big. Yeah, I think anytime you have two teams that are like this evenly matched, it's a great uh, betting opportunity just to do live because uh, I was looking at their offense stats, their defense stats. There's not that much separating these two teams. No, not at all. I mean, when it comes to DVOA and efficiency stats on multiple sites, they have them basically back to back on both offense, defense. Obviously, the offense a lot better than the defense, um, which kind of leads us into the over under. Let's talk about that. <laughs> 74 and a half. I think this line has come up like three or four times when Jason and I talk about the Mac. Yeah. Um, are you feeling over or under? I mean, let's look at the last game when the two played. There was 99 points scored Yes, uh, the last time they played. So it, it reminds me of the classic when I would put together a Madden team. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not want to play defense. I just wanted the top offenses, and I would just let the other team score so I could get out and, you know, play offense again. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And they're playing in a dome, too. Uh, which always equates to more points. It's always going to be more offense. It's kind of tough to recommend this high of an over, but I, I see value in it, honestly. Nope, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're uh, 
it's it's not weird to recommend the over in this one at all. I got burned on betting an under at 74 and a half in the MAC earlier. The only time the unders really hit was this this past weekend with the weather. Um, I didn't think it was going to play that big of a factor. It did. But like you mentioned, the biggest factor going into this game, it's in a dome. There is no weather factor. There's, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't see how either of these teams stop each other. I could easily see 65-64. You're talking about over 120 points in this game as possible. Um, so then that makes that shrinks 74 and a half. Um, oh, yeah. And, and, and you look at like how many points each team is allowed per game. Uh, I believe it's Northern Illinois has 33 and a half. They've allowed mm-hmm. per game along with 453 yards. And then Kent state's allowing 34.6 points per game. I said that correctly, uh, as long with 475.5 yards. Um, so like they're not stopping anybody. These are wet paper bag defenses. Yeah. So you basically you have two defenses who can't stop each other facing the best offenses they've really played, um, at least in the MAC conference this year. There you go. There's the over. I don't think it needs a ton of explaining. I wonder what this over with Illinois plus seven and a half parlays to. And in classic DraftKings fa- fashion, sorry, unfortunately your picks cannot be parlayed. Uh, this is why we're using Caesars for these for our prop vet videos because we can actually parlay things. Taking a look at the quarter and half lines. Um, first quarter over under 16 and a half in Kent state only favored by 0.5. Anything you feel there? I mean, it's like we were talking earlier, the way the Northern Illinois plays where they play better from behind and they kind of let, they they tend to let other teams get a lead. Um, I do kind of like, uh, laying that with Kent state, uh, in the first quarter, at least. Yeah. I like Kent state. I'm not messing with the first quarter over under. Because I've mm-hmm. seen games that ended with 90 total points lately that the first quarter there was seven. Um, right. It's just, especially a championship game, you don't know how these two teams are going to come out. Uh, you could have a nervous quarterback. You could have a nervous offensive line. You could have a little bit more of a conservative game plan. Be like, hey, let's actually take some time off the clock for once in our right. uh, school's history. You just don't know. But I do like Kent State to start out um, on the correct foot and lead this game in the first quarter. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. So, on all, we're on Northern Illinois to cover. Maybe not to win, but definitely to cover. Anthony feels comfortable at 3.5-4. I like betting it up to 7.5. There may be some live betting opportunities in this one. We do like the total over at 74.5, but we like Kent State to be leading the first quarter. Um, Just looking at both their game scripts, it just seems like that's what's going to happen. Um, I wonder, you know, funny enough, I wonder if Northern Illinois would defer the coin toss just because of how well they play in the second half. It's a good point. I mean, I could see that for sure. Um, if they if they have that level of self-awareness, not every team tends to have that. No. Um, though they might be in denial about it. Uh, yeah. Kind of who knows. But uh, that'll be interesting to see. If there's a prop bet on that, I would love to take that. Yeah, it's just, it's an interesting thing to think about because it does matter a lot when you're betting the first quarter. Um, and it seems like if Northern Illinois wins that, they should be deferring. Uh, even though in a MAC game, it, it always seems like, let's just get the ball and score. Let's get the ball and score. But it's like, you know, you're going to come out in the second half. I believe in you in the second half. Just, just let Kent State start out, you know, winning 7, 10 to 7, you know, relax. Give us our yeah. uh, first quarter prop. All right. Anyway, oh, totally. that's going to wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys for watching. You can always hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when our videos are up if you like this one give it a like if you disliked it a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets for this championship game i'm matthew motto and we'll see you very soon for the next one have a good one